Good morning, it's Jim Schwartz with Bex Hybrids. For today's edition of Audio App, I'm with Sean Nettleton. Sean is the Bex field agronomist for Southern Illinois. And Sean, we were talking earlier, every field is different, and there, there are even big differences within most fields, yet in many cases, we tend to farm them the same. How can we change what we do to create a more customized approach that allows us to increase our yields as well as our efficiency? Because right now, I'm, you, you know, I'm not really interested in adding lots of cost to my operation. So how can we get that done? Sure, that's, that's, and that's a valid question that we get a lot, Jim. And I think one of the biggest things that we can do is we start looking at management zones of our fields, okay? So we all spend time in the tractor and we're, when we, we notice that you know, almost every field out there has variability within it, whether it's, whether it's sandy ridges or, or, or low, you know, kind of black mucky spots or just, just hillsides and valleys and plateaus, uh, even if they're subtle, you know, there's differences in every one of these fields. And if we can start to identify those differences, we can start managing each field. Uh, maybe by the square foot instead of by the acre and, and, and look at things differently that way. So when I, when creating a zone, let me ask you this. Should I focus more on, on multi-hybrids or on variable rate seeding, which has the potential for greater impact in your opinion? Well, I think it, the multi-hybrid, I think here at Bex and, and, and in the industry, we've proven that to be a viable technology. But like you mentioned at the very beginning, one of the things that you don't want to do right now is add a lot of cost to the operation, obviously. So, so with that being said, I think variable rate absolutely will, will give you a payback, but to avoid having the outlaw of, 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 of money, you know, to get that system set up on your farm, I think variable rate planning is one thing that we can do now, uh, that, that, that has very low, you know, startup costs, but can give us some benefit in the long run. So, Sean, I'm not really a computer expert, and I know a lot of farmers are probably like me. They, they just don't have the confidence or the comfort level to go create a management zone on their own. So how hard is it to do this, regardless of the system? I mean, it, it just it's pretty intimidating to me because I am a techno dunce. How, how hard is it? It's You know, it, it's really gotten easier over time. There's a lot of programs out there that have a lot of the foundation in place. And, and let's be honest, it's, it's 2019, vast majority – uh, of the farmers out there now are collecting yield data, you know, and, and so there's there's pros and cons to, to lots of systems that we can utilize or lots of layers of data that we can utilize to create management zones. But but if we want to get in there in the basics, I mean, something as simple as multiple years of yield data uh, in a software program that gets normalized into one layer, and then you just simply, you know, you work with your trusted advisor, uh, assign some rates to that field and load it out to, to the monitor in your, that's most likely in your tractor cap. And, and, the, and the tractor does it, you know, the computer does it there for itself. So, um, you know, it, it can be intimidating at the beginning, uh, but we've got tools here at Bex like Farm Server. We've got precision farming uh, field advisors. Um, a lot of our seed advisors ha- have a good understanding of how to create management how to break that information down and create those prescriptions. So uh, while it looks like a daunting task, it really is very simple these days. Well, once I create that management zone in, in software, have somebody help me do it, how do I execute it in the field? And you mentioned it, but I mean, is it simply going to my monitor, plugging it in? Is it that simple or how hard is it to actually execute these things in the field, Sean? Oh, it really is that simple. I mean, the majority, you know, of, of our monitors today take a USB stick uh, or at the, at the most, uh, you know, a flash card. We plug that card in there and, and there's, there's, there's an option as we're in most situations as we're loading the field or we're, we're putting our, our farm and field name in there to get ready to plant and we're, we're inputting our hybrid information so we can track our hybrids. Uh, most every monitor has a place for an RX and so we select the RX. Uh, we grab that file that we've created. And, uh, you know, once everything's set up, you just hit that file, load it, and it's automatic control. It takes over that planner. So as you move through the different zones, uh, whether it's hydraulic drive or an electric drive uh, on your planner, uh, those that planner will take over, and, and it changes those rates as it's going through the field. So what you're telling me is it's, it's probably not as hard as I, I may think to create it, and it's not – that hard to execute it either so if i am managing different fields differently and even areas within a field differently you do feel like then there's an opportunity to capture additional yield and or additional efficiencies absolutely you know and i think one of the things that we do is we we capture we capture more yield in places where you know let's say for example here around where i live we have a lot of sandy ridges and a lot of sandy soil 
uh, you know, those gravel ridges and sandy ridges and things like that, it just can't support, you know, 30, 32, 36,000 seats per acre. So if I can pull those back, you know, even into the low to mid 20s and then up my populations and I get into the better soils, uh, you know, I'm basically helping uh, to, to capture yield by making sure that there's something there to harvest at the end of the year in those tougher areas. And then, you know, kind of farming the other areas, maybe the same way I've always done. And so it's, it's, it's almost like we're saving yield in a lot of cases with some of these variable rate scripts, much like we do, uh, variable rate fertilizer. The, the common practice for years, it's not necessarily that we're going to always make more, but we're going to allocate our resources better and we're going to try to spend, you know, maybe the same amount of money, but allocate those resources in the places where we're going to benefit us the most. Fantastic. And I know, Sean, you recently recorded a file for us that uh, is about 20 minutes long that really goes into the details of what data to use to create some of these management zones and how to do it uh, on your own farm. So we're going to provide a link right here in this uh, text. So if a grower wants to spend a little time to learn a little bit more, Sean's provided that information for us. So Sean, thank Thanks for your time today. Uh, it's a rainy day. Let's hold the rain off so we can get planting here pretty soon. But appreciate your time today and look forward to learning more from you in the future. Thanks, Jim. All right. Thank you, Sean. We'll talk to you later.